Okay, now, one other thing to mention about the train car cards. If at any time there are three wild cards out of the five face-up cards, you will discard all five of those cards and you will deal out five new cards. You only do that if there are three or more wild cards down at once. Okay, now, the second type of action that you can do on your turn is to claim a route. If you choose to do that, that is the only thing that you can do on your turn, just like any other action. Now, when you claim a route, you will play a set of cards from your hand that's equal to the number of spaces of the route you're trying to claim. Now you can choose any route on the board that has not already been claimed provided that you have the cards available for it. For example, let's say you wanted to claim this route from Helena to Salt Lake City. If, as long as no one else has claimed this route, meaning their train cars are not already on this route because they claimed it in an earlier turn, you can claim this route if you have three of the pink or purple cards. They look more purple to me. So if you have three of the purple cards, you are then able to claim that route. You would play them from your hand into the discard pile, and then you would place your train cars on that route, like so. And then you, as soon as you claim a route, you're going to score it. So let's say the blue player played three purple cards into the discard pile to, play, to claim this route they will look at the little reference here and you will see that a route that is three train cars long will score you four points. So we would then move the blue player's score token up four points on the score track. Okay, now let's look at some of these routes here. The routes that have a specific color you have to have that specific color to claim that route. So for this route from Denver to Oklahoma City, you would have to have four red train car cards. Or any, any combination of those could also be wilds as well. And that's the same with any other color. Now you will notice that some routes are gray. That means that you can use any color to claim that route. So for example, you could use two blues to tr claim this route. You could use two greens to claim that route, any color. Now you will also notice that some routes have double, okay? Now in a two to three player game, a two or three player game, you will not, only one player can claim a route between two cities, even if it has a double route. So in a two or three player game, if you wanted to claim this route, you could either claim it using orange train car cards or you could claim it using black train car cards. But once one of those routes are claimed, no one else can claim the other one. Now in a four to five player game, two different players could claim this route. One player could claim the orange route and one player could claim the black route. But in a two or three player game, only one player can claim a route between two cities. Now let's look at the green player's hand. So the green player has one red, one blue, one green, two whites, and one wild. Now when you claim a route, you really want to look at your destination ticket cards to try to help you determine which route you want to claim. For example, the green player has the destination ticket Toronto to Miami. So the green player is going to look at their hand and they're going to look at Toronto to Miami because you want to, if you have that card, you're going to want to complete a continuous route that connects those two cities by the end of the game so you can score your destination ticket. So the green player could take these two white train car cards and they could claim this route because remember gray can be claimed by any color. So the green player would play these two cards into the discard pile. They would take two of their green train cars and place them on the route. They would then score that route. A route that is two train cars in length is worth two points. 
So the green player would move their score marker up two points on the map. And that is how you claim a route. Okay, and the third action that a player can take on their turn is to draw destination ticket cards. Just like the other two actions, if you choose to do that, that is the only thing that you can do on your turn. Now, if a player, now here's the reason a player may choose to draw more destination ticket cards. Let's say it's the middle of the game and a player has already satisfied all of their destination tickets. They've already connected all the cities on all the tickets that they have. Of course, the other players are not going to know that. At that point, that player may decide they want to get some more destination tickets to try to make some more routes and get more points at the end of the game. So if you choose to take this action, you will draw three destination tickets. One, two, three. Keep them hidden from the other players. And you have to keep at least one of them, but you may keep all three of them if you want. Now when you do this in the middle of the game, you might get lucky and you might draw one that you've already that you already have connected. So say the red player draws these, the red player may have already connected Kansas City and Houston by whenever they were trying to fulfill one of their other destination tickets. So if that happens, then there's no reason for you not to keep the ticket because you will be able to score it at the end of the game. So again, you will draw three of these cards, keep at least one of them, but you may keep two or all three of them if you choose to. Now the ones that you do not keep, you will place on the bottom of the destination ticket deck. So let's talk about what ends the game. The game will end when any one player on their turn, at the end of their turn, has zero, one, or two train cars left in their train car supply. So let's say the blue player ends his turn and he only has one train car left in his supply or two train cars or no train cars left. At that point the other players will get one more turn and then the player that ended the game will get one more turn. So in our blue player example let's say the blue player gets down the one train car at the end of his turn then the red player will get to take a turn the green player will get to take a turn the blue player will get to take one final turn and then the game will end. Now, at the end of the game, I would highly recommend that you recount the scoring from when players claim a route. I would highly recommend that you make sure that all the math was done correctly throughout the game and no one forgot to score a route that they claimed. So just recount everybody's routes that they scored Make sure their score marker is on the correct spot on the score track. At that point, then I would recommend seeing who has the longest continuous path. Whoever has the longest continuous path will claim this card and move their marker up 10 points. And on the score track, if you reach 100, you will just keep going and, and, and all players will just understand that that player is past 100. So in this example, green player would be at 105. Now, once you have found out who has the longest continuous path, all players start at one player at a time will reveal their destination tickets. If you have satisfied your destination ticket by connecting the two cities on the ticket, you will score that many points. If you have not satisfied the destination ticket and have not connected those two cities, then you will subtract those points. The player with the highest score after all points have been counted and counted on the score track, player with the highest points will be the winner. One other thing to mention about scoring, uh, in the unlikely event that there is a tie, the player who has completed the most destination tickets will be the winner. If there is still a tie, so the player has the player, two players have the same scores, two players have the same number of destination tickets, then the player with the longest continuous path card will be the winner.